This video covers ADA configuration for EGX 400-600 series engravers. This chapter covers braille dot cutter and character cutter configuration. To set up the ADA workflow, we'll need the following items which are part of our ADA bundle. Our ADA substrate and tactile material, Engrave Lab software, a horsehair brush for cleaning off the engraved material, a ruler, our spindle cover offset hardware, the braille dot cutter, the character cutter, hex wrench, our two spanner wrenches, a Phillips screwdriver, the nose cone, 1164 solid collet, and our auto raster pen inserter. To get started, first thing we want to do is go ahead and power on the engraver. Once we power on the machine, on the control panel, we want to go ahead and press the enter key to initialize the engraver. Once the engraver is initialized, the display will be at the default menu, which shows your X, Y, Z position and spindle speed. Next we want to go ahead and press the menu key until we see the home view Z0, Z1, Z2 menu. You want to make sure home is selected and press the enter key. This will move the machine to the XY origin position. Now we're ready to install and zero out the character and braille dot cutters. We will start with the nose cone. On the EGX Pro series, the nose cone does not include a numbered scale, whereas the 350 does. So you want to mark it to indicate the zero position. In this case, we've marked it with the Dremel tool. Each little tick mark is representative of one thousandths of an inch. Next, we'll open up the spindle cover. And we'll go ahead and take our 1164 solid collet. And we'll install the collet to the bottom of the spindle assembly. For this, you're using a reverse thread, turning it counterclockwise. You want to go ahead and hand tighten it, and once you've hand tightened it, you want to use the supplied spanner wrenches to go ahead and secure the collet in place. You want to go ahead and place your 17 millimeter tool on first, and then take your 10 millimeter, and you're going to pull opposite of each other to tighten them down. At this point, we'll take our nose cone and we'll thread it onto the spindle unit. You want to go ahead and thread it all the way up until it stops completely. Now, once it stops, you want to go ahead and back it off 
to the closest zero position. Okay, so you want to back it off to the first zero position. And then you want to back it off two additional full turns. This sets our zero position for our nose cone. Now we're going to dial the nose cone for our character cutter and braille dot cutter. So we're going to dial the nose cone 33 to 34 clicks for our character cutter. So if you give it one full turn, that's 25. And then you can count the additional clicks until you get to 33 or 34. I recommend going 33 or 34, which allows you to cut through the glue layer of your tactile material. We'll now go ahead and get our character cutter. We'll load it from the top of the spindle. This is a top load tool. We'll thread the brass knob. Again, this is a reverse thread. And you want to hand tighten it as tight as possible. Then want to go ahead and loosen the hex screw that holds the tool in place. And if you notice, it's sticking out of the bottom. You can move it up and down. You'll then take a solid piece of plastic or a piece of metal. And you want to go ahead and place it on the tool and push it up until it's flush with the bottom of the nose cone. Once it's flush, we'll go ahead and tighten down the hex screw on the brass cutter knob. Position. Once this is done, we can go ahead and remove the character cutter and set it aside. Next, we'll adjust the nose cone seven to eight more clicks counterclockwise. This allows us to set our depth to 0 0.041 to 0 0.042 inches. This is the depth that we want to drill our braille uh, dots. At this point, we'll go ahead and top load our braille dot cutter. We'll go ahead and again tighten it down. And just as we did with the character cutter, we want to adjust the cutter to the plate in order to zero the cutter out at that depth. Once again, we'll go ahead and tighten the hex screw at the cutter knob. And we'll go ahead and remove the braille dot cutter. Now that we're done, we'll go ahead and take our nose cone. We're going to rotate it back to that 25 position. And then rotate it one full turn counterclockwise to bring us back to our zero position. Please continue to chapter 2 of 